This isn't the life of a drifter. We're fighting a war out here. You sure you're up for it? Is that the best you got? I can recruit you. But the Colonel is the only one who can swear you in. You stick around. Give us a hand. I'll take you to him myself. I'll be here. Good. Jesus. Jesus, motherfucker, has my ring. He took it from Sarah. He had to take it from Sarah because she wouldn't have given it to him. So that means that she's got to be here. Hmm. Why are you still like in my shit. obstacle course? Why are you not finished with my obstacle hey. course? Do you like it that much? Do you want to run it again? Then be my guest, princess! I ha haven't seen you around before. L Lucas Monroe. Yeah, uh, I just shipped in, you know. Uh, Deacon St. John. Well, uh, take a look around. I, I, I got all kinds of bike parts, if, if you got credits. Yeah, thanks. What are you doing there? Well, th th there you go. I'll see, see you What's later. Up? Hey, uh, how's it going? New around here? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergy. Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job and we'll get along just fine. How's that? Yes, ma'am. Later. Hey, hey, sorry, uh, what can I get you? Hello. Hey, uh, you don't look very militia to me. No, nah, um, man, name's Wade, Wade Taylor. You can call me Wade. Deacon St. John. <laughs> Holy Listen. shit! Deacon St. John, is your old man a preacher or something? No. Man, that is a hell of a name. All right, listen. You wait. see this, man? This is some crazy shit. Yeah. Whew. So what, you joining up, becoming an army man, you playing soldier and shit? I don't know, maybe. Mm -hmm. Listen, uh, you look like you just came in from out the shit, right? Yeah, man, yesterday. Okay, yesterday. I've been... I've been waiting to see the colonel, whatever the hell that is. Traveling with some people, we got separated. You see anyone that looked like this around here? Uh, nah, man. Ooh, she is a looker. I'd hit that, you know. <laughs> uh, I gotta go, man. They're checking me for lice or some shit. Good luck to you, Deacon St. John. Jesus, what a name. Jesus, that dude's fucked up. He wouldn't remember Sarah if she slapped him in the face. Come on, Sarah. Come on. Where the hell are you? You're here. Somewhere. Maybe in these tents. No, she wouldn't be in the mechanics area. She never knew a wrench from a screwdriver. Maybe in here. Nope, not here. Check this one. The infirmary. I mean, with her background, that's where she would be, right? You. Ah, damn it. She's not here either. That's gotta be the one. Sarah? Sarah, you in here? Shit, not here. Oh, God damn it, she's not here. She's not here, but... Right, yeah, it yeah, couldn't be that easy. No, could it? St. John, are you on this channel? Corporal Russell said you had a radio. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm here. Meet me at the gate. On my way. Getting ready to ride out. You still coming? Ready when you are. Looks like you put a lot of work into this. 
Yeah, some. Open it up! Are you any good? Can you ride? Uh, yeah! Yeah, I can ride. Well, you want to join the militia? You're gonna have to prove it to me. See if you can keep up, St. John. So what the hell happened back there? I mean, it looks like a forest fire, but the stumps are charred. So that means... That means that the timber was cut before it was burned. You got a good eye. We call it the dead zone. We use the timber to build our barricades, then burn the slash. From the outpost, we can see a horde coming long before it reaches us. And what? You, you're gonna burn all the buildings too, so the newts and the swarmers have nowhere to sleep? You know you're freaks, huh? Like I said, I've been out in the ship for a long time. So that's your plan, huh? The militia, I mean, to burn everything to the ground? We're fighting a war out here, St. John. We'll do whatever it takes to win. A war? That's what it is, isn't it? A war? You've been out in the ship. You've seen the hordes. The only thing that's going to stop them is an army. Our army. It's going to take way more than an army. We have a plan. The Colonel lets you join. We'll fill you in. So, Silver Lake, you asked about survivors. You looking for someone? No. No, not really. I mean, look, there were some folks that I rode with once, and I thought maybe they ended up there. Uh, I thought maybe you were after someone. For a bounty, I mean. Yeah, no. I tracked men over long distances before, but not this far. No bounty's worth that. This is it. Corporal, the captain's here. It's done, sir. Make sure you make a marker. Yes, sir. All right. You two head back to Diamond Lake. Grab, uh, Taylor was his name? Yes, sir. Yeah. Take him to the Colonel. I'll be there in 1800. Sir? Military time, Corporal. You're supposed to know this by now. Oh, yes, sir. Get the fuck out of here. Yes, sir. You find something? Uh, how long is, uh... Vasquez. What has Vasquez been with you guys? A couple of weeks, maybe more. <laughs> Clay's been busy. What the hell? You guys been having trouble with supply runs, marauder attacks? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go on foot from here. On foot? Why? <laughs> because Vasquez came out here for a reason. I can't track him from the bike. Where do we start? It's been snowing, so, uh, there won't be any boot prints. Come on, I want to look inside the cabin. Okay, I'm following you. You, uh, <clears throat> you said he stole rations? Ammo? Yes. This is an MRE. It's half-eaten, so looks like your men rode up on him when he wasn't expecting it. His bike's still out front, which means that he went out the back. Wait, over here. What'd you find? The fence has been cut. And the rust. So it was cut recently? Yeah, come on, this way. Hey, hold on for a second. Look. Over here. Tracks? Uh, yeah. We're in luck. This way. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up. What? You find something? Yeah. Shell casing. Recently fired. He, uh, well, he stopped to shoot at something. Come on. Down here.
Hold up, hold up. What is it? Come on, get out of here. What are you doing? That ever worked for you? Look out! More wolves! I see him. That's the last of them. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. Nice work. Yeah, worth some credits. Okay, I want to take a look at this thing. Looks like the MREs weren't enough for your man. Clean gunshot, right through the head. Yeah, the wolves must have heard the shot. Decided they wanted it more than Vasquez. Yeah, the rest of the pack came at us from back that way, from the east. You think they chased off Vasquez, leaving one to guard the carcass? That's my guess. Come on, let's see if you're right. You guys got a lot of wolves out here? Ones that aren't infected, I mean? Yeah, we get reports almost every day. When I was a kid, growing up, there were no wolves in Oregon. I mean, a few coyotes, but no wolves. They'd been driven to extinction by ranchers and farmers, timber companies. Well, it looks like they're making a big comeback. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Well, what is it? It's a backpack. It's one of ours. It looks like they almost got to him. And he shrugged off the pack to get away. No, no, no. To buy time. He landed on his ass. Tried to scramble away, but then the wolf lunged. Vasquez dropped him. Two shots. You can tell all that. Yeah. Wait, get down. A swarm. You're a grave sight. Scattered all over the region. Yeah, well, maybe that explains why uh, Vasquez came through here. Let's go around. Exactly what I was thinking. Is it John? This way. Yeah, right there with you. I gotta say, I get tired running and hiding from these sons of bitches. You ever take on a swarm? Yeah, I've done it before. You just gotta keep moving. You gonna join the militia? We must stay focused on the mission. We're not out here to fight freaks. Being in the shit, killing freaks, it kinda goes hand in hand, doesn't it? Okay, um, put some distance between us and the graves. The cold weather's gonna bring out even more of them. I think they can smell the cold from about a mile out. Part of our slash and burn strategy is to find these grave sites, dig them up, and burn them along with everything else. Yeah, well, good luck with that. I've seen hundreds of them. It's just in this part of the state alone. Yeah, we gotta start somewhere. All right, where now? Keep heading east. Hey, there's a road ahead. Hold up a second. What do you think? Is anyone else tracking them? Not that I know of. Hmm. Or he's got a lot of friends. You see how his tracks have been overridden by bikes. A lot of bikes. Hmm. Okay. Come on. Let's see where they're heading. You said cold weather brings out the freaks? Yeah, yeah. Cold, snow, rain. Hell, in the clouds. Well, like I said before, you know your freaks. When we get to command, there's some people who want to talk to you. People? The colonel will fill you in, if he lets you join. Yeah, yeah, I think you said that already. Look, he runs a tight out. Hey, wait. Hear that? Yeah, it's coming from the logging camp over there. Is that on your map? Yeah. Well, oh, that means it's also on Vasquez's map. Come on. Vasquez is there. What would your strategy be? Well, he's not alone. We know that from the tracks. 
What's that militia penalty for going AWOL? Hang me by the neck until dead. Why? Well, it means Vasquez isn't coming without a fight. You see your man? Yeah. That's him. Oh, looks like you guys need to start doing background checks on your recruits. He seems to be right at home. Well, let's wait here. I'll radio for backup. Get your goddamn hands off me! Oh, oh this one's a fighter, boys! On. What do you think? Oh, come on, Vasquez. Oh, see about that. <laughs> oh, hell no. What? Uh, I just got this problem with assholes who hurt unarmed women. I'm giving you an order. Order? You see me wearing a red armband? You don't give me orders yet. You do whatever the hell you want. Vasquez? He isn't my man. Not anymore. I can use this. <sighs> okay. Wait here. Stand guard in case we missed anyone. You can handle him? Oh, they won't know what to hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, whoa, 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 easy, easy, I'm not gonna, I'm just here to help. I don't need your goddamn help. Okay. I'm just gonna move over here. Stay the hell away from me! Hold on, hold on now. We're not with them. You think I give a damn who you are? Okay, okay. How was that? Just your typical damsel in distress. Vasquez? Done. Way done. Captain Corey? Come in. This is Corey. We're here. Heading up the road to the main gate. Hold your position there. We're coming. What about the enemy? They've been, uh, uh, neutralized. Uh, hold your position. Curry out. Come on.
We brought up your bikes, Captain. I thought we'd save you the walk back. That'll be all, Corporal. So how'd I do? Did I pass? Pass? Oh, you've been watching me all day. I figured this was what? Some kind of test. <laughs> no. Nothing quite as formal as all that. As you can see, our pool of recruits isn't what it used to be. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. You passed. Oh. You ready to meet the Colonel? <laughs> yeah, sure. Why the hell not? So, St. John, where did you serve? Before the ship went down. You know what an MRE looks like. You know how to recon an enemy position. You know cover in advance, tactical maneuvers. So, where did you serve? Marines? Army? I try not to talk about it, you know? I mean, first year out here, seemed like anyone who used to wear a uniform had a target on their back. I, uh, I was in the Army, 10th Mountain. I did a full tour in Afghanistan. So how about you? Anyone who's ex-military has a, <laughs> a certain bearing. None of your soldiers have it, but you do. Like I said, you got a good eye. I was in the Air Force 10 years, part of SAC. There ain't no missile silos in Oregon. I was on vacation, believe it or not. I was lucky. Before SATCOM went down, I got hourly reports from across the country. You think it was bad out here? Everything east of the Mississippi was overrun within two days. So, you familiar with this area? Yeah, I grew up in a town north from here. Uh, it's called Farewell, you know it? No. no. It sounds like a fitting place to be living at the end of the world. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. So maybe you have been here before. Yeah, I've been here uh, a few summers back. Me and my old lady, or my wife, we stopped by here on our honeymoon. You got a pick? Uh, of your wife, I mean. Her name was Carrie. We were married 12 years when... Anyway, it was a long time ago. Hmm. You know, I, I think this might mean keep out. Huh? Oh, no, no, that doesn't apply to us. Why, because we can't read? Because we don't obey the law. <sighs> Speak for yourself. After you. Mm. <sighs> All right. Uh, you know, making me a co-conspirator, not very chivalrous. Chivalrous what? <laughs> no, it means, um... Right. I never learn. I'm sorry about that. Oh my god, you should have seen the look on your face. Oh, I bet it was funny. Yeah, if I'd owned a cell phone, I'd have taken a picture. Well, for just this once, I'm glad that you don't. Oh, come on, don't start on that again. Hey, I didn't say anything. You brought it up. You just did. So, where are we going? Just follow the trail. You'll see that it's not that far.
What would my mom say if she knew I was out on a midnight stroll in the middle of nowhere with an outlaw biker? I don't know. She'd say, honey, you better wear your sweater. Very funny. Nah, she wouldn't say anything, you know? You weren't supposed to tell them about us, remember? Oh, come on, Deacon. I said that a long time ago. You know I didn't mean that. Hey, look, I'm not judging. I'm just... I mean, I, just, I haven't told my old man. That's because your father's dead. Well, yeah, I mean, there's that. The question is, have you told anyone in the MC that you're dating a nice girl from Seattle and not some bimbo from whatever strip club you guys live in? Oh, well, okay, wait a second. No, we don't live in a strip club. I mean, we have a lifetime membership there. That's true, but we don't live there. And second, uh... I did tell them. Yeah, matter of fact, I did. Wait, you, you did? <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't sound so surprised. They find your PhDs to be very sexy. Oh, yeah, I bet. So, you know this is way past my bedtime, right? Oh, I know. Oh, come on, stop. I mean, I really do have to get up early tomorrow. Yeah? Uh, how's that going? I mean, uh, well, you never want to talk about it, so... It's nothing. It's just... Ugh, it's just this project, and we've got these execs flying in from New York to audit our progress, and the suits at our facility are installing a new lab without even choking me to spec, and... Ooh, well, I thought you didn't want to talk about it. <laughs> Sorry, it's just... You know, like I said, it's nothing. Anyway, thank you for dragging me away from all that. Yeah, no problem. Oh, wait, is this a pop farm? Is this what you wanted to show me? Say what? Well, these are marijuana plants, and that's an irrigation system. So this here, this is a pot farm. Oh, hey, yeah, look at that, pot farm. You dragged me out in the middle of the night to the middle of nowhere to show me the MC's illegal growing operation. Uh, yeah, I mean, you got me. <laughs> I was hoping that you could give us some tips, you know, cultivation, put all those PhDs to work on something actually useful. Jesus, TQ, what? <laughs> okay, I get it. This is not actually what you wanted to show me, right? No, of course it's not. Come on, keep following the trail. We're almost there. Ugh, you think I would learn? You think I would learn, but I never learn. Nope. God. God, look at that moonlight. It is, it's so beautiful. Keep going. Uh, we're almost there. You ever wonder what it would be like if just everywhere all at once the lights went out and everyone could just see the world just like this? What, you mean like all dark and shadowy and depressing? I mean the moonlight, the wildflowers, the fireflies. Oh, I see you were kidding again. Okay, you don't take anything seriously. Oh, I take everything seriously. Oh, yeah, right. I do. You do not. Like when I suggested moving some of my stuff over to your place, you pretended that I was joking. Uh-uh, no, that's not true. I pretended I didn't hear you. There's a big difference. You should have seen the look on your face. And you know, I do have a cell phone, and I took a picture. You want me to show you? My God, you're a scientist. Can we be rational about this? Okay. First of all, all I said is that we should think about moving in together. You know, because we get to spend more time together and, you know, take the next step. What's irrational about that? I have a toothbrush at your place. Oh, I'm so sorry. You know what? You're right. That is a huge commitment. Well, I mean, do you know how much a good toothbrush costs? Okay, see, there you go again. Every time I try to talk about our future, you turn it into a joke. Okay, all right. We do need to talk about it. And we will talk about it, but just hold on for a second, because I want to... <laughs> I want to show you something, okay? See? This is why I brought you out here. <sighs> wow, how beautiful. Was it worth it? God, yes. <laughs> hey, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yeah? Huh? <gasps> TK. 
again. Will you... Will I? Will you, uh... <laughs> <laughs> so that a yes? On two conditions. Name them. Okay, well, the first one is that we don't have one of those biker weddings where you say that you're gonna ride me as much as your bike. Done, I couldn't promise that anyway. Oh, stop. Okay, the second one, the second one is that you never leave me. Done. God, did you just break your biker ring off my finger? Ah, you know what? <laughs> I think I probably Ooh. did. <sighs> <sighs> Look at it. It's so cute with its little fangs just like clenching onto the chain. You know, nothing says true love like dog skulls. Dog skulls. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what does it say there? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you knew Latin. Come on. No, uh, it's Morier Invictus. Hmm. It means death before defeat. Wow, I like that. Well, you're going to get me. Like a real ring, though, right? No, that this one's no, not absolutely, great. absolutely, because, I, I just you know, thought, that's my ring. You right, it's your that. ring. Right. Something more simple, without fangs. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. No, yeah, it's your ring. It's the lab, I gotta get it. Okay. Hello? Yeah. No, 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 it's fine, I'll be right there. Okay, bye. Is everything okay? I don't know. They need me back there. What? I gotta go. Uh, th this minute? Like, th at this time of night? I'm sorry. I have to go, but I promise I'll make it up to you. Okay. Come on. My wife's name was, uh, Beth. No, I don't have a pick. Let's go. Sorry, what's that? To not have any photos of your wife, family. Yeah, why do you say that? Back in the day, everyone used smartphones. That's where we kept all our photos. The phones went away, the cloud went away, our photos went with them. Yeah, I guess I hadn't thought about that. My wife, Carrie. Her father was a photographer. Old school, dark room, chemicals, all that. Too stubborn to embrace the digital age, I think. If it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have any photos either. Yeah, well, I hated them. Cell phones, I mean. It seemed like everyone walked around with their noses buried in the damn things. I never owned one. Interesting. How'd you manage that? I worked as a mechanic. I, uh, I had my own shop. Probably had the last landline in Farewell. You guys are taking this shit seriously. The Colonel believes with enough motivation and discipline, we can achieve anything. Come on, hurry your ass up. I'm going as fast as I can. Just move it! Is that your idea of motivation? 
The Colonel has set up a work camp on the south side of the island for those unfit to serve. Some of them require extra encouragement. I'll bet. Come on, follow me. Yes, sir. Stand up there with the others. Good luck, St. John. Got your ass too, huh? Whatever. Hey, man. It's good to see you again. St. John, right? Son of the preacher, man? Taylor, what's this son of a preacher, man shit you keep saying? I'm just kidding with you, man. Hey, do you have any luck? What? The, the woman you were looking for, you and your peeps were riding with. No. I need all your jewelry, watches, shit like that. Come on, in the bag. What? Sure, man, whatever you say. The hell you say? Recruits aren't allowed personal effects. Besides, shit's just gonna get stolen. Come on, cough it up. Oh, yeah, shit's gonna get stolen. Goddamn bullshit. Tin hot! At ease. Visitors are not welcome here. You are here because you were invited, recruited by my trusted officers. When you answer me, start by giving me your name, last name first. Getting by, same as everybody. Name. Atkins, Crystal, sir. How many men have you killed? Before or after? Answer the question. Fuck you! We have all done things that we're not proud of. What? To survive, no to stay alive. The Almighty understands this. Right. The Almighty yeah. forgives Amen. this. Amen. <laughs> but here, on this woman's face are the footprints of Satan. Prison tattoos. Proof of what you once were and no doubt still are. It's people like her that are responsible for bringing the wrath of the Almighty down upon us all. <laughs> Take her to the work camp. What? Ah. You. Yeah. Fuck you. Come oh. on, gorgeous. Let's go. Goddamn redneck asshole. <laughs> Get off of me. <laughs> I swear to God. What about Get you? Off me. Uh, Taylor. Uh, wait. And um, no, sir. I uh, never been to jail. Never killed anyone. Nothing like that. You've been in the shit for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I, I know. I know how to shoot stuff. My, my dad took me hunting when I was a kid. He was at, at a camp near Klamath Falls. It got... And how about you, son? You know how to use a gun? St. John, Deacon. Yeah, I know how to use a gun. You're a drifter. Hold out your right arm. Tenth Mountain. Iraq? Afghanistan. Honorable service, and don't lie to me. I'll know. Served one tour, served with honor. Hated every goddamn minute of it. <laughs> well, shalt not lie. Good man. Hold up your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to support and defend the new constitution of these United States? Against all enemies, natural and unnatural, to bear witness and support to the same, and to obey all orders without question. So, do you swear? I swear. Dismissed. Walk with me, son. Up, Captain sword. Curry doesn't bring me many recruits these days. He must think highly of your combat skills. Uh, I've been in the shit a long time. You know your way around the freaks? 
Yes, sir. I, uh, I know as much as anyone, sir. Good, good. In here. We'll have the doc take a look at you. Pulse is strong. Good heart rate. Got a pretty nasty burn there. How'd that happen? Uh, had a run in with a wood stove. Wood stove, huh? Who dressed this? I did. No está mal. Not bad at all. Thank you. Keep it dressed or you're gonna lose that arm. You hear me, amigo? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I hear you. I want you to check back with me in a few days. Got it. Well, Doc? How is fit to serve? Lara bien. You doing runs out in the shit? <laughs> Sorry, Doc. Uh, ya tiene novia. Uh, he's spoken for. Let me guess. The Wizard Island Witch. Vaya con Dios. Good luck, amigo. Let's go, son. I normally don't tolerate insubordination, referring to an officer as a witch. But I make exceptions for some of my more eccentric officers. Yes, sir. I make exceptions because every man and woman still living has a role to play. Do you believe in God? St. John? Never gave it much thought, sir. Well, it's high time that you did. He has a plan for us, all of us. And my part is this. Sir? This place. I had a vision. Oh, nothing so grand as those described in the Old Testament. No flaming chariots or burning bushes. I simply woke up one morning before God's plague had rained down upon the world and knew that this was the place. Crater Lake, uh, Wizard Island. I call it the Ark. Are you familiar with the story of Noah's Ark? Yeah, I mean, yes, sir. I mean, everyone's, everyone's heard of it. Indeed. You'd be surprised how few have read the Bible or the Book of Revelations. You mean Genesis, Noah's story. I mean, uh, that... It's, it's the Book of Genesis, sir. Yes, of course. Okay, son, let's get you squared away. Whatever you say. Now, we don't have much in the way of uniforms, I'm sorry to say, but, uh... I think that, uh, oh, here, try this on. <sighs> Seems to fit. I'll take that. Well, if you don't mind, this is a gift from an old friend. An old friend? <laughs> Not many of those left anymore, are there? No, there are not. Okay, soldier, but I don't want to see you wearing it. You're one of us now. Normally we start new recruits in the rank of private. But since Captain Curry has vouched for your experience in the field, we are starting you out at the rank of corporal. Thank Congratulations, you. son. Thank you, sir. Yeah, let's get you some work. All right. Now, what was I saying? Uh, you were telling me about the Ark, sir. Yes, the Ark. What you see here is only a small part of it. Behind us is a whole network of caves and vents that lead from here up to the Cone's Peak. When our work is complete, they will be filled with thousands of seeds, plants, computer files, and books. The world may die. But our achievements in medicine, science, and technology will not die with it. No, sir. But the island is more than just an ark, Corporal. It is a stronghold, a fortress. Here at the North Gate, we are stockpiling enough munitions to take the fight to the freaks. We have rifles, grenades, heavy machine guns, and RPGs. We have the equipment to make ammunition, every type, every caliber. This is our mechanical engineering area. If you need your bike repaired, see the officer on duty. 
And as you can see here, courtesy of the old National Guard, we are building a fleet of trucks and other vehicles. Once the hordes are cleared from the highways, we will begin to rebuild the roads and bridges. Your slash and burn strategy may stop newts and swarmers, but it won't clear the highway. It won't, it won't stop the hordes, sir. We are aware, Corporal. The hordes. The hordes are a different beast entirely, aren't they? But we have a plan. Plan, sir? Benjamin Franklin once said, by failing to prepare, you are preparing to fail. We are not going to fail. The heart of the army lives here, at the gate, ready to move on my command. These tents house hundreds of women and men, just like yourself, who have pledged and sworn their lives to the fight. But I have something else in mind for you, an assignment that requires more than just the ability to survive uh, in the shit or use a gun. Find a bush. Are you up for it, sir? Uh, yes, sir. Wherever you need me. You asked how we were going to defeat the Horde? Let me show you. You okay, Lieutenant? Oh, hey, Colonel. Sorry about that. Too much acetone in that batch. Lieutenant Weaver is our chemical engineer. He's working on new ways to, to blow shit up. Feet the enemy. Sorry, but yeah. Uh, name's Weaver. James. Saint John, Deacon. All this militia shit's just for show, right, Colonel? Corporal Saint John is new to Quarry's unit. If you need anything from out in the shit. He's your man. Oh, shit, yeah. yeah. There's a couple of things I need. What are you working on? Oh, just the new gelling agent combining naphthenic and palmitic acid. Mm, you working on napalm? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. This dude knows his shit. Uh, just a lucky guess. Uh... <clears throat> Sorry to interrupt. Oh, any time. Oh, Colonel. I'm getting real close, Colonel. Very close. That's good. That's really good. Where are you going next, Colonel? Wizard Island Witch? That'll be all, Lieutenant. <clears throat> Again, let me apologize for my more eccentric officers. No need, sir. We have one final stop. As much as I believe in Lieutenant Weaver's work, what you're about to see could be, I think, our path to victory. All right, what is this? Ma'am, I got everything on the requisition form. Does this look like fabric softener? No, ma'am. Okay, why don't you read it? Active ingredients. Chlor chlor chloroform and uh, eight... Turp turpin turp Get out. Shit. Get out! Matt, I can't do this if I have to do my own supply runs. I got it covered. Lieutenant Whitaker, this is Corporal St. John. He's a new member of Corey's unit. He's got some experience out in the shit. Read this. What? Read this. I mean, you can read, can't you? Active ingredients, chloroform, aterpenol, benzoyl alcohol, halothic acid. Good enough. When can he start? Ah, I'll leave you to it. Carry on, Lieutenant. Leave us. Stand at attention. Sarah, I don't. No. Oh, you're, you're 
You're dead. You're, you're dead. You're, you're supposed to be dead. Hey, hey, hey. You're dead. It's okay. You're dead. I'm right here. Wait, wait a, wait a second. I, I don't understand. I couldn't I, I find you. you had died, and I. Uh, no, we were overrun. Was overrun. And, we had to go south. We, Nero, they yeah, said Nero, that no one no, made I it out. Ryan and I Farewell was overrun. They said that everybody was mountain, dead. And I didn't think that. I never thought I would see, would you, ever again. see you again. Hey, hey, listen. Now we can ride out of here. We'll pick a direction. We won't look back. Come Please, on. No, no, Deacon. I can't. Are they forcing you to stay here? No, you don't understand. We're fighting a war. Don't you see? This is a war that we can win. I ain't coming here to fight a war. I can be helpful. I can make a difference, but I... I can't go with you. I have to stay here. Don't you get it? You, you can stay here with me. Help me. Look, afterwards, whatever you say, we, we, we can go wherever you want. <clears throat> Colonel's looking for you. Whatever you say, ma'am. Wait, wait a second. Your requisition form. Thank you, soldier. St. John to Lieutenant Weaver. Come back. St. John to HQ. This is Weaver. What can I do for you, Corporal? Uh, your requisition form says you need mercury. Any idea where I can get it? Yeah, sure. I should have written that shit down for you. It comes from, uh, Cinnabar. Corey's unit scouted out of mine north of Diamond Lake. Head there, radio me when you arrive. Yes, sir. Hey, between you and me, if the colonel isn't around, stop with all the yes sir, no sir bullshit, all right? Makes me feel old. Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. The 
With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, Captain Curry to Deacon St. John. Please report to me at Diamond Lake. Yes, Captain, I'm here. Uh, copy that. St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this, this thing gonna work? I don't think it's radio. Taylor. Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit. <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. But, hey, hey, what, what the what the hell you, you got they got you doing? I'm I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah. Working on uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, hey, it's, it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh, shit. Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go, Saint Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Uh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great.
I got the gate. <laughs> St. John, Corporal St. John. <laughs> you got your ears on, man? Hey, is this thing gonna work? Yeah, your radio works. What's up? Deacon St. John, hey. Uh, I mean, you know, nothing. It's just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the whole swearing in thing. That was some shit, am I right? <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. What? Hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got? they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spin. Oh. Ah! Hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. You can't get through this. Hey, got him. Can use this. Uh, you were saying something? Well, hey, hey, what, what the, what the hell you, you got? They got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry. What, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on wood. Oh shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on uh, bio weapons, uh, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground. Am I right? <laughs> yeah. Look. Well, Taylor, I gotta go. All right, all right hey, I, um, hey, look, man, it's uh, it's just I'm, I'm, I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know. Uh, Taylor, what radio are you on? Are you sure that you're not being monitored? Oh shit! Huh? That's what I thought. Gotta go. Saint John out. <sighs> Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. He still has it. Take his militia insignia. I won't have it soiled by the stench of a traitor. You got it. St. John out. All right, Anderson. Let's go take care of business.
He's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Okay, let's take a look around. Closer look. All right, what have we got? Oh, God, is that Anderson, the dragon? Oh, how the hell am I going to get my bounty? Okay. Dead coyote lava cave. Uh, murdering drifter camp. I've seen these assholes before. I'll take them out. Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this. Alright, we gotta stick your channel and everything. So how's it going, man? The designated site Taylor, I'm busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry, Ronnie. Uh, hey, you're so, the words out of the camp, the Turks are making their way in. Right under the colonel's nose. Hey, I've been meaning to ask one of you guys. I don't do drugs, yeah, Taylor. You know. No, I don't know anything about division. it. Why? Uh, how'd the no, no, virus, no, no, you know, no, no, I don't, jump. I don't either. I'm just, I saw how this guy. You know, one of the new recruits yeah. acting all suspicious, I mean, right? I mean, we've seen it in cats, dogs, birds, birds. So I thought, I thought I'd follow him. I didn't think it was possible. You know what viral, zoonotic, neuroinvasive disease Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey and let him handle it. You got that? Rabies. Yeah, yeah. Just like the hooligan virus. The baby yeah. spread okay, through contact Mr. with fluids. St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk blood, to you later. Man. Semen, yeah. oh, Out. That's just gross. <laughs> and while it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown yeah, that it can also infect it. birds, reptiles, even insects. Mm. Do you know how many Better mammals there are in the world? Through chemistry. A lot, I'm guessing. Yes, a lot. 5,488 exactly. 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 All of it which come to my cats, attention. rabbits, dogs, horses, sons, hogs, and monkeys, and monkeys, and hogs, and yes, wolves, and the infected and hand spread the virus down a group of survivors not too long ago. For us, I mean. The same the era that abandoned us here in this shit all the years past. Some the older is radial fluorocytes. But I got a better name for them. It runs 31 to 37 Traders. miles per hour. And I this assure you, I can don't take care of it lightly. I can shoot the tire off of a motorcycle while the car is attacked. What do you think it was? That we should listen to that most mammals are stopped. Stop. Captain Corey, I'm at the site where Sergeant Anderson was last seen. If he still has it, take his militia insignia. I won't have it soiled by the stench of a traitor. You got it. St. John out. A marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Deacon.
in St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Hey, look. What do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. So okay, here we go. Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on me? Hey. Taylor, what do you mean? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. Alright, I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so, words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in, right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 I didn't. Not either, I'm just, I saw this guy, you know, one of the new recruits, acting all suspicious, you're right, Zanet? Been out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it. Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. You got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, out. <laughs> Field note one uh, four you're six or eight. Just with the doctor. We're at the designated site three zero one. Dead coyote lava cave. Ironic Ooh. name since we're here inspecting the remains of a canis from his tongues. Runners, as the locals like to call. Hey, I've been meaning to ask one of you guys. You guys? Yeah, you know. In the research. This is Radio Free Oregon. Uh, the how the virus, you, you know, free. jump? You nope. Mean, how did it jump species? Yeah. I mean, we've seen it in cats, dogs, birds, these wolves. I, I didn't think it was possible. Do you know what viral, zoonotic, neuroinvasive disease is, Corporal? Mm -hmm. No, don't have a clue. Think rabies. Just like the hooligan virus. Rabies spreads through contact with fluids. Saliva, blood, semen. Oh, that's just gross. And while it primarily infects mammals, lab cultures have shown that it can also infect birds, reptiles, even insects. Do you know how many mammals there are in the world? A lot, I'm guessing. Yes, a lot. 5,488 to be exact, depending on who you ask. All of which, cats, rabbits, dogs, horses, skunks, possums, foxes, monkeys, groundhogs, and yes, wolves, can be infected and and spread the virus. Jesus. What's it mean? For us, I mean. Look at the musculature on this subject. The swollen and distended supraglenoid tubercle. The ulnar and radial tuberocytes. The normal wolf. He run 31 to 37 miles per hour. This guy? He can top out at 60. And he can shoot the tire off a motorcycle while doing it. What it means for us, or me, is that we should be glad that most mammals are going extinct than us. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
Okay, here we go. <sighs> Squeeze through here. <laughs>
Damn it, sniper ambush. God damn it, son of a bitch. No more ambush drifters for you, huh? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. It has come to my attention that some of you are out there working with Nero. The very same Nero we saw cut down a group of survivors not too long ago. The same Nero that abandoned us here in this shit two years past. Some would call these people fools. But I got a better name for them. Traitors. And I assure you, I don't take treason lightly. But I am a reasonable man. So you get one warning. Hey, Listen up. You. Stop me. what you're doing. Now. Before we find you. Cause we will. Let's work. And when Keep we on. do, you yes, will pay. I'll personally huh. string you up on the biggest tree I find. And while you're breathing your last, we'll quarter you and feed you to the freaks you love. That is a promise. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Yeah, well, Cope, I gotta say I don't like it any more than you. Do your worst. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. That's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious. It, yeah, for, from Canada, originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family. Yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, w west of Crater Lake. A wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada? Oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh... Oh, Cor Corporal St. Hey, John. Corporal. So Stay how long safe. were you yeah. in the service? I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, for you. Corporal St. John. Corporal. Sergeant. Safe. Got that. Oh, yes, sir. That, that, that's a good one. Well, there you go. Corporal, stay safe out there. Hang on, I'll open the gate. Corporal St. John! <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, oh, I mean, you're a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it. Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. 97? Hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, and see a single free. Um, but there is this, this group of, of men ended up at this... Lieutenant Weaver, you there? I'm at the mine. Good, good. Okay, man. You take a look around. The report I saw listed ore testing kits. You're gonna need one. An <laughs> ore testing kit. Copy that. Uh, the center bar is kinda red, but not shiny. It'll have a dull luster to it. 
gonna be hard to miss. Test the core. It's gotta be at least 60% pure or I can't use it. All right, got it. Testing kit, testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? <sighs> Not that in here. Hmm, huh. that's interesting. Testing kit. Where the hell am I gonna find an ore testing kit? Maybe one of these uh, shacks? Eh, not that in here. What did he say? Red Rock, the luster. Cinnabar, yeah. And now I just gotta test it. Come on. Oh, yeah, you'll do. Something under this. Yeah. That's the last of them. Let's see if this pop is working. Out of gas. Of course.
that's it. Water's going down. Gotta finish collecting this ore, and then I gotta get the hell out of here. Cinnabar. Okay, good. Testing. Yeah, almost enough. Samples is all I need. Here we go, Cinnabar. All right, let's see how pure this is. Yep, just pure enough. Just one more. Cinnabar, that's good. Good. And now I just gotta test it. All right. Elevator shaft. Oh, God damn it. Wonder where this goes. Only one way to find out. up here. Another tunnel? Looks like this one was abandoned a long time ago. A narrow beacon? In here? Another micro recorder. One of these is going to explain Jesus, what the hell the you guys guy. are doing now. Yes, Nero and yes, it is. Just with the doctor. Field note 2072. We are at site 69. The. Where are we? The Lost mm. Cabin Mine. Thank you. Oh, the Lost Cabin Mine. We have euthanized a specimen of Homo sapiens mutans corporosis using 10,000 milligrams of ketamine. Reference field note 2071, where 6,000 milligrams was barely enough to subdue the Homo sapiens mutans albino. We tracked this subject from its primary habitat and structures on the northern rim of Crater Lake. I ran out of ice. What used to be the visitor's center, I believe, to this mine. Currently, we have no working theory as to the subject's migratory habits, living patterns, or. How about why it's so goddamn big? Got any theories about that? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we do. Don't be such a stranger. Yeah. Blood tests have shown that Homo sapiens mutans corporosis yeah, with extremely elevated anyway, amounts yeah, of anabolic steroids. Wait, so, so what? Before they became yeah. infected, they were roided out? Basically, yeah. Not that they were all bodybuilders or athletes taking illegal synthetic androgens. Some probably had naturally high levels. The results the same. Yeah? What's that? They can literally tear you in half. Come on, let's get these samples crated up and get out of here. Oh, Roll it out, freaks. That's just great. Corvus 
St. John. <laughs> uh, Wade Taylor to Deacon St. John. <clears throat> Taylor, oh, I think you're on a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Highway 97? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Um, but there was this, this group of, of men ended up at this ski lodge. Did you even know there was a ski lodge out here? I didn't know that. Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh, shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor, out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor, God damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Beacon St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the research division? Captain, uh, research division, or, uh, you, I guess you would call it. Uh, I'm Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes. Here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I could find it. Good luck, Corporal. Curry out. Shit! Lieutenant. <laughs> nah, man. Leave that shit by the door. No, 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 no. I mean all that army shit. Oh. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> I think that's what you were looking for. All right. Yeah. Yeah, this is great. Hey, just wait a second. Here. Polystyrene. Yeah, you know, like white foam coffee cups, packing peanuts, shit like that. Yeah, got it. Hey, man. By the way, how did it go? With the Wizard Island Witch. You mean Lieutenant Whitaker? Man, I thought you were gonna leave all that shit by the door. That'll be all, Corporal. That'll be all. Hey, I'm uh, new around here. Name's Deacon St. John. Pleased to meet you. I'm El Corporal. Goodbye. Corporal, what do you need? Sir? Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns? I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, don't be that way. Corporal, see you around. Corporal, need something? New guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. 
Oh, cool, man. Carpal, see ya. kitchen. Shit. Breakers. <laughs> Had to be breakers. That couldn't be fucking easy, could it? Yeah. <laughs> 